Hi, I'm David Waite and I'm the principal of Jubilee College. Um, we train practitioner reflexologists, uh, but in this uh, strange time uh, where COVID-19 is keeping everybody at home, I thought I would put a video out so that anybody that likes the idea of being able to de-stress, to calm themselves, can be taught through this video a nice, easy to learn, relaxing hand reflexology treatment. Because reflexology isn't just about working on the feet, it's also about working on the hands. So if you would like to join with me, I'm going to take you through some lovely, simple techniques to calm you. And if you have got a partner with you, family with you, then these techniques are just wonderful for working on each other. So the first reflex that we're going to work is the solar plexus. If you can see this little line just here, and this little line just here. If I were to turn my hand up, you can see a line that runs along here. And that is the diaphragm line. And between these two fingers just here, along this line, there is a little spot just here and that is called our solar plexus. The solar plexus is where we feel all our stresses and strains and so what we're going to do is we're just going to rub this with our thumb, little circles. You may feel that it is a little bit tender, a little bit more tender than if you were to say just be working here. And if it is, that's good. Just rub that tenderness away. And it's supposed to be lovely and soothing and calming. If you do feel some tenderness, push into the tenderness gently so that you can feel it, but so that it is not um, what I would call a pain. Um, it wants you want to be making reactions in reflexology but you don't want to be causing yourself pain now the next thing that we're going to do and we would do this by the way on both hands so I'm just going to do it this one while that you can feel something a little bit more than you know, what you'd just expect if you had just pushed your thumb onto this spot. Keep rubbing it and that sensation will ebb away. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work something called the diaphragm. The diaphragm is this line, the whole line. This is the muscle of respiration. And when you get stressed, you don't breathe properly. And so we're going to work this diaphragm line now. So with my left hand up, <clears throat> you can probably see where you've got the start. If I just crease my hand here, now you can see the, the, the line of the crease. And we're just gonna be following mainly these crease lines as guidelines for the hand. So I'm going to start just underneath my little finger here and I'm going to pretend that my thumb is like a caterpillar and it's literally just caterpillar walking along the diaphragm line. Now then you'll be able to feel as you walk along this diaphragm line the bones of your hand, you'll be able to feel sort of little circles here, a little sort of knob knobbly circle here, and another knobbly circle here. If you are pushing up in onto that knobbly circle, then you're doing it just right. Now, what I'm doing now is not just the thumb walk, but I'm doing a circle, pushing up against that knobbly bit, moving on a little bit, circles pushing against the knobbly bits. Moving on a little bit more, circling onto the knobbly bit. And I'm sort of still on this line underneath where those circling knobbly bits are. And 
again, if you were to feel an area that feels sharp, tender, slightly bruised maybe, then stay on that area until that bruisiness feeling has gone. Now of course, we've now got to do the other hand. So I'll turn this hand over, and we're going to do the same. If you feel it's the right thing, then I must admit I'm enjoying doing this so much to myself. <laughs> I am, I'm going to do this. Do the line again. There are no rules. You don't have to work this so many times. You don't have to go a certain speed. And in fact, you don't have to even do it in the same order that I am teaching this on this video. If you've got a part of your hand that actually is sore, and you're thinking, why on earth is my hand sore? I don't know why my hand's sore. It might be that it's the reflex of one of the body organs that's actually telling you something. And until you understand how the reflexology map works, which is these reflexes that we have just here, then of course you wouldn't know um, what it was that was going on. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to, we've done the solar plexus, we've done the diaphragm, so it seems logical that the next thing we're going to do is the lungs, that's this pink area here. Now COVID-19 of course, as we all are aware, is a disease that affects the lungs. So this is going to be really, really good. If you haven't had COVID, then we're wanting to be able to have our lungs in as good condition as possible. So basically what we're going to do, I'm going to make that crease again in my hand. You can see this crease line that's here. And then I want you to imagine it then joins up with this crease just here. It obviously sort of doesn't quite just at this point. But all of this area here, all of this area is our lungs. So it doesn't matter how you work it. If your thumb, because you haven't been used to doing reflexology, if your thumb is getting sore, then it doesn't matter if you then want to maybe use a knuckle. That's absolutely fine to use a knuckle. I'm just putting my hand on its side a little bit, just so that you can see where I'm working. And of course, knuckles can get into places far easier than some fingers. The thing that you don't want to do is to strain. Don't want you actually injuring tendons or joints or anything like that by doing reflexology. And when I'm knuckling, can you see how I've got my um, fingers all stacked on top of each other so that by knuckling with this finger, I'm not putting all the stress on just one knuckle just here. It's being supported by all of these other. So we'll just do this on the other hand. So I've now actually shown you all 
may be thinking, oh, there's nothing wrong with the circulation. Well, in reflexology, we believe that the heart isn't just the physical pump. It is the emotional heart. When you were to say there is a matter of the heart, so this pink circle just here, this pink circle just here, it matches up with the fleshy part underneath the thumb, just here. <clears throat> so I'm going to work it going one way, going across. If you can't reach across, then there's nothing to stop you from reaching down like this. Whatever is the easiest way for you. And I hope you're all joining in with me like this. This is not a video to just watch. I hope you're actually doing this with me. Ooh, ooh, now that's interesting. I've just found one of those bruise feelings. And it feels lovely. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a rub just here. And if you find a bruise feeling or um, any sort of area that feels a little bit different, just stop on it and give it a, a little bit of a circle like I'm just circling this area here. Okay, we're going to swap hands. Oh, yeah, and there it is again on this one. Okay, now the last reflex I'm going to be showing you is a reflex called the spleen. It lies just underneath the diaphragm line, in line with the little finger, and the spleen is in charge of our immune system. So just showing it on the hand itself here. So in line with my little finger, underneath the diaphragm line, so just here. This is our spleen reflex. If you become ill, your spleen is part of the body that will fight off infection. It's the major organ of the immune system. And so being as we have this virus at the moment, I would encourage you all to be working on your spleen and for this one I am using my knuckle and I'm giving it a nice kind of sweep. Now something that you can do as well if you would if you wish to to make this an even more gorgeous treatment you can just rub a little bit of um, body lotion, uh, hand cream, oil, doesn't matter what it is, onto your hands and then what you're doing will create this lovely slide and that can be for the whole treatment or it can be for just any parts where your uh, fingers are say maybe just getting a bit sticky on, on the skin so i hope you found that uh, little video helpful i hope you find it nice and relaxing and uh, i do hope that um, you enjoy doing hand reflexology on yourself and on those that uh, you are living with at the moment and it just becomes something that you're able to make part of your daily routine. If there's other videos that you would like me to post, self-help videos with reflexology, um, if you have aches and pains in any particular places, then do let me know. Uh, put a comment on the, uh, the bottom of the, of the uh, YouTube page and uh, I'll upload videos accordingly.